Hi guys, it's Miss Ashley here. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and an awesome summer. You know, ugh, don't mind me. There's lots of bugs out today. <laughs> you know, Miss Ryan's been talking about God's love and how it's everywhere and uh, nothing separates us from it. It's in the morning, it's at night, it's all the time. And even if you're in the great outdoors, like me, or if you're at home, <laughs> God's love never goes away. So come join me for a craft. Let's get started. So for this craft, we're going to need some cardstock. I've got yellow, orange, red, and green, but you guys can use whatever colors you want. We're going to need two paper plates. I'll explain. So, one paper plate to be our background. Whoa, look at that. And one paper plate to be the front, the foreground. We're also going to need one fastener. Can you see? It goes right through the middle of the plate. Just like that. We're also going to need some scissors to do some cutting and a handy glue stick. We got to use, uh, ooh, purple, awesome. We're going to glue some stuff today. So I also have some markers to do my own little decorating on my craft today. Dark green, green, red, and brown, but any color works. Okay. So, the first thing you're going to want to do, and I got a little ahead of you guys, is take one plate. Now, the first plate that I have, I put some masking tape right down the middle, and I painted it blue on one side and black on the other. Now, if you guys don't have those colors of paint, you can do it with a marker. Awesome! And for this cool star effect, I took a paintbrush and I just flicked a little bit of white paint onto the black and it turned into stars. Now, for the front plate, this is a bit trickier. What I wanted to do was have something to put my tent, glue my tent on, but you could actually just cut it above, maybe like an inch above the middle line of the plate. That way, the foreground is a little bit higher than the background. Now, I took a pencil and drew a line, because I'm going to put my tent here, and I'm going to put a tree right here, and then went across and took my scissors and trimmed it. Once it was all complete, I put my fastener right in the middle and closed it. Now we have two different times of day. We've got nighttime, or if we spin it, we've got daytime. Woohoo! So that's kind of fun. So what I want to do first, I've actually cut out some shapes to add to um, my picture. I used my cardstock, and you can actually take the cap from your glue stick to draw, kind of trace around on the yellow cardstock. Let's see our yellow. Right here, we trace it around, and we can get a sun and cut it out. If you would like to do a moon, so here is my sun. I cut it out earlier today. You can actually, to make a moon, take the lid and put it a bit higher up, or you can have it like this, higher up on your sun shape, so the cap, and just do another line down there. You trim it and you've got a moon for the other side of the plate. Now let's see. 
So this one needs a man, and this one needs a son. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to glue is the moon and the sun. sun right in the middle. It is a bright day. Whew. And I just love camping. Do you guys love camping? It is my favorite thing to do in the summer. Have you guys ever been camping? You know, I think I started camping when I was a baby, my parents told me. But the funnest trips I remember when I was a little bit older, making s'mores and having Okay, now I'm gonna put my moon about there. Now, this is my lid shape, and just another line of the lid, boop, like that, and trim. Okay, so I've got my moon now. Perfect! Now that glue is gonna dry. The next thing I wanna do is my tent. So for my tent shape, I had to get a bit creative. I wanted an orange tent, but you can make it any color you want. And because the fastener is a little bit in the middle, I did a little trim so that it would fit just right. So, you can do that, or you can make your tent a little bit smaller or bigger, or you could make a square tent. I love your guys' creativity, so just come up with whatever you think. So I'm gonna glue my tent. I love bright orange. Okay, so I'm putting my tent right there. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Now it doesn't really quite look like a tent yet. It kind of looks like a big orange triangle. So the next thing I'm gonna add is the inside of my tent. I chose purple just because I hadn't used that color yet. But you can come up with whatever color you want. Hmm, is it looking more like a tent now? <laughs> Another little triangle. Okay, so I'm gonna add some tent doors. Now, my tent has one of those cool, like, Velcro doors, which, I don't have to do all the zippers, which I love, but some tents aren't like that. You need to, you need to zip them, and there's lots of different things. So this is one of my tent do doors, and I'm gonna put another red one. And these are just triangles. I didn't even use a stencil or anything to, to cut these out. I just trimmed them off my cardstock. Okay. They don't have to be perfect. There we go. It's looking a lot like a tent now. So next to my tent, I have another big triangle. And what I'm gonna do is glue a tree down. Okay, let's see. Ooh, and it even fits. How cool is that? <laughs> okay. We've got our triangle. Putting it right there. Now I saw this idea online and I thought, I love camping. Miss Ryan loves camping. Everybody wanted to do an outdoor kind of cool craft. So we we thought our kids would love this at common. Okay. So now that I've got my tree down, I'm gonna start taking my markers. First, do you guys want to see what it looks like in the daytime? This is the nighttime so far. Let's spin it. Whoa! It's a totally different place. I love it. Look at that awesome blue sky. Okay. I'm gonna turn it again. Now we're in nighttime. Now I'm gonna take my brown marker and just do a little tree trunk, just like that. And 
Now this is a lot of white space. You could do so many different things. You could paint this, or you could say, oh, I'm camping in the winter and it's snow. Or you could take paper and put it over top so you're not coloring the whole thing in. But for me, I'm just gonna add some cool grass and flowers. So I've got my light green marker. When I go camping, there's tons of trees and grass around. But sometimes, like if you're camping in the prairies, there aren't a lot of trees. Sometimes it's just, you know, fields and you get to see these awesome stars and stuff in the sky. It's kind of fun about camping in the prairies. In the city, like in Calgary, I find I don't get to see as many stars. But when I go camping, then I can see them. So I'm gonna take my darker green. I'm gonna kinda just fill in the back over here. Now I'd love to see what you guys come up with. You can always tag us on Commons Kids, on Facebook or Instagram. We'd love to see your pictures. We'll even share them. And our Commons kids at our church right now, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday and that this video is super awesome to watch too. Okay, now I've got some grass. I want to put maybe a couple flowers. I love wildflowers and sometimes it's kind of cool to see them when you're camping. So you can use any color marker for this, or you can just stick to grass, whatever you think would be cool. I'm gonna make a green kind of stem. Maybe a brown center to my flowers. These are poppies which you can find in the fields. Awesome! Okay, I've got a question for you guys. Are you a bigger fan of the night? Or the day? <laughs> Let me know! You can always add some puffy white clouds to the daytime as well. This was super fun, guys. I hope you have a great week. See you next time. Bye.